I was born in Lodge, Poland in 1926. We were nine kids, eight boys, one girl. My parents dedicated to us. My father was very religious, a scholar, teaching kids Talmud. When I was a young boy, the only job I had was go to school and get A's, not B's, only A's. My father was a great man, charitable. I remember distinctly, Friday night, come home, took his money out, five cents, 10 cents, put in Pushka. I was supposed to go to law school. I want to be a lawyer. Unfortunately, it did not work out. In 1939, Nazi came into Lodge with their motorcycles, their tanks, their home was jittering. A few days later, they formed the ghetto. We have to wear yellow bands for the start. They come and destroy the synagogue. This my father, I couldn't take it. My father died in Lodge Ghetto from starvation. I realized life is very short, so I escaped Lodge Ghetto. I went to Washa Ghetto, I stood with my mother's sister. I slept on a table, eight people. It was snow, cold. People on the street dying from hunger. I see people hanged. My mother, sister, and four boys went to Auschwitz, 1944, July, and I was there. The crematorium burning. You see fire coming out, the ashes. Ashes was on my, my lips. I didn't want to live. I didn't want to live. So it stays with you. After the war, the dream we all want to go to Israel, fight. Something came up. I came to America, a military ship, and they sent me to Pittsburgh to live with a the family. There's a guy from Lodge, has a big department store. I went to him. I'm from Lodge, my father's name, Moshe Chaim. He starts crying. He was a Talmud, my father teaching the Talmud. He gave all the goods and consignment. He trusted me. You know who my father was. I was a peddler, sold my goods, knocking doors. I made, made a living. That all started. I survived the war. I had a wonderful wife for 50 years. I have a family. I have two wonderful kids, a son and a daughter. Each of them has two children. We be the Nazis. We see Nazis be destroyed. I felt that if the Nazis were going to take lives, I was going to save lives. That's why I buy ambulances for Israel. I bought three of them. The first ambulance I bought under my wife, Renee Freilich. Morgan David Adam saves lives, I believe, very strongly. They're part of Israel's survival. <laughs>